To evaluate this trigonometric function, there's a couple things that you need to know. First of all, you need to know how to graph the angle that you're trying to evaluate the cosine for. So in this case, I have negative five pi over six. We know we have to go in the negative direction, which is going to be clockwise, and that's gonna be somewhere over here. Now, why do I know it's gonna be somewhere over here? Well, I know halfway around the circle is going to be pi, which I can also rewrite as six pi over six. Now, this is in the negative direction, so therefore you can think about it as like a negative six pi over six. So if I have negative five pi over six, that means that this little slice right here is going to be a pi over six. That is what we call the reference angle. The reason why that's important is because this coordinate point on the unit circle has the same coordinate points as pi over six, my reference angle from the first quadrant. So now I just need to know what is that coordinate point in the first quadrant for pi over six? Well, that is going to be a square root of three over two, comma, a one half. Now, since I recognize this negative angle is taking me to the third quadrant, I know that my x as well as my y coordinate both have to be negative. Since I'm evaluating for the cosine, I know that's gonna be the x coordinate of the point that intersects on the unit circle, which is simply just going to be a negative square root of three over two.